My name is Shakira, and I'm from the Design Academy in Eindhoven in the Netherlands. I would like to invite you to have a cup of tea with me. And it's going to be a virtual cup of tea. And I've just completed a ceramic miner under the guidance of Dutch designers Atelier NL. So the semester that I just completed was broken up into two parts. And for the first part, I focused on research through making. I created a series of prototypes that was rather playful with a very mundane, everyday act, like pouring. So these are the prototypes with the spouts that I created. And it proved really fun and exciting to try all of these spouts. The most interesting part of the research was accidentally all that spilling. Oh, no. We don't like to spill, right? In fact, every carafe or teapot or spout has been so effectively designed that we can hardly spill anyway. Before I go on, I just want to check if you are all enjoying your cup of tea. Because I'm going to tell you the very more personal part of my story now. So at the second part of the semester, I experienced dramatic changes within my personal life. On the 16th of September 2017, I married an amazing human being. And then, just two months later, on the 4th of November 2017, I lost my dad. He passed away due to an incurable lung illness. He also happened to be an amazing human being. I was rudely awakened by reality the morning I received that tragic news. I took it for granted that he would be there forever, but then he was gone forever. We do take a lot for granted, don't we? Right now, the city of Cape Town is at a major crisis point. Why is our human nature such that we only realize the value of what we have when we don't have it anymore? I believe we are in dire need of reprogramming ourselves to think and act differently. Most of you have just arrived in Cape Town for the first time, and instead of the attractive billboards of either Camps Bay or Table Mountain welcoming you at the airport, you were probably faced with boards presenting you with messages of caution. For most of us, it is the first time that we experience a crisis of this caliber firsthand. Be it at your hotel room or local spots around the city, our crisis has never been this real. I call it our crisis because, indeed, it is not just Cape Town's problem, but the problem of every single one of us sitting here today. It is our collective human problem. So, let's take another sip of that tea. Right now, each person in Cape Town has to use 50 liters of water or less per day. And as we can see from this guideline, that it gets used up quite quickly with daily rituals. However, this only applies to the water we can physically see. So what about the water that is hidden in some of these daily necessities? The water used to produce our food is called virtual water. It refers to the sum of water used in the entire chain process of producing food. Here we can see some examples. So for one liter of bottled water, 
Five liters of water is used in the production process. For a cup of tea, we've got 30 liters of water used in the production process. And for a cup of coffee, we have a whopping 140 liters used in the production process. We hate to spill, don't we? We try everything in our power not to spill. Yet, we are spilling so much of water in our production processes, aren't we? Let's take a moment to unpack that cup of tea we've been enjoying all this time. In general, it is a standard cup of tea in around 150 milliliters in volume. And for just this 150 milliliters of tea, we have to use 30 liters in the entire production process to get this amount of tea. So if we had to do a volume comparison between the amount of water we use to make the tea and the actual amount of tea we get in the end, it would look something like this. Which means that the amount of water used to make one single cup of tea can fill up to 200 teacups. Which means that the amount of water used to make one single cup of tea can make enough soup to feed 100 children. Which brings me to my project called 30 for One. It is a really large tea maker. It takes a lot of work to make tea with this tea maker. So what you have to do is you have to fill water into the top cup continuously until the very last cup at the bottom gets full. Then you are able to remove it and make your tea. As it stands today, it makes up for just one third of the 30 liters required to produce a cup of tea. So when making tea with my tea maker, you have to fill a 1.7 liter capacity kettle and fill the top cup continuously up to six times before the very last cup at the bottom gets full. So the next time, let us not just enjoy our cup of tea together, but let us really value it. Let us really savor it. And most of all, let us really reflect upon it. Thank you.